Did you see the thumbnail for this video? A massive explosion? Well, I'm actually standing in the exact spot where that explosion occurred back on May 4th, 1988. This is what the area looks like today. Let me tell you what happened. Mission and it has cleared the tower. On January 28, 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger exploded 73 seconds after liftoff. 15 seconds, velocity 2,900 feet per second, altitude 9 nautical miles, downrange distance 7 nautical miles. This shut the program down until the next launch of the Space Shuttle Discovery on October 3rd, 1988. However, during the shutdown of the program, the Pacific Engineering and Production Company of Nevada, also known as PEPCON, continued to manufacture solid rocket booster fuel. They were located right here. Right in here. Pepcon was one of two companies that produced ammonium perchlorate, which was an oxidizer used in solid propellant rocket boosters. The other company was known as Kerr McGee, and they were located less than a mile and a half from Pepcon. This is what the PEPCON facility looked like just before the explosion. And for over two years, they continued to produce ammonium perchlorate and store it in 55-gallon drums on the property in these two locations. This location right here, this is 55-gallon drums that you can see, and this location right over here. So these are the two locations here and here where they stored the ammonium perchlorate. The official investigation report said that a fire originated in the batch house, which was right here, this building right here. And they believe the source of the fire was slag from a welder's cutting torch less than 60 feet away from the batch house. The wind was blowing about 17 miles an hour from this direction over here, blowing from here across the facility like this, in a, from the southwest to a northeasterly direction. So wind coming from here, blowing in this direction, like this. The investigators believe that slag from the cutting torch over here, aided by the wind, ignited a barrel of contaminated ammonium perchlorate in or near the batch house. Then the flames were spread by strong winds around the batch house right here. About 11.50 a.m., there was an explosion in the northeast corner right here, right about in this area, of the batch house, and thousands of burning particles, aided by the wind, came raining down all over the facility, all up in here. So the wind blew the particles that exploded from the northeast corner of the batch house here, all over the property, right in here. At 11.53, the first of two major explosions occurred. The first explosion, came from this storage location right here. Over the next couple of minutes, there were several minor explosions, and at 11.57, the biggest explosion occurred from right here in this area, right here. So in order to find the location, I took this photo here and I overlaid it on Google Earth. So right here you can see what the facility looked like back then and how I overlaid it on Google Earth. Now what I'm going to point out is this building right here that you can see right here is still standing today and this is it right here. So I used this building to line up the photo. So I put the photo in place and I made it a little transparent so you can see that the buildings here are lined up. You can see the batch house here. You can see the general area right here where the first explosion came from. And you can see the general area here where the second and largest explosion came from. I'll zoom in a little. So once again, this is the building I used to line it all up. This is where the batch house was and that's where the fire originated. This is where the first explosion came from. And this is the area general area of where the second explosion came from. 
So I dropped some markers down where the batch house was, the general area where the first explosion came from, and the general area where the second explosion came from. And when you remove the overlay, this is what it looks like. You can see here where the pins are. Right over here is where the batch house used to be in this general area here, and this is where the fire originated. Now the batch house was actually somewhere behind this building here and right back in there and behind this building here as you can see you can see the back of it this parking lot and then behind that the batch house was kind of stretched out in that area back in there can't get to it because it's private property and it's fenced off or it's gated off as you can see but so right behind this building is where the batch house was and that's where the fire originated right back in there this is what the area looks like today right over here is the general area where the first explosion came from right about in here so here it is this is the location of the first big explosion occurred approximately right about in front of this building right in here and you'd never know because today this is what that particular area looks like and of course the second and large explosion occurred right about in here in this general area So the first big explosion occurred right there about where the front of that building is, where the face of it is. And the second explosion, the much bigger explosion, occurred right back here behind this gate, part of it on this side of that wall and the other part on the other side of that wall, right back in there. So here's that gate. And this is the location have the explosion right over here. Now, I didn't see any no trespassing signs, but I do see no trespassing signs to not go over this wall because there's high voltage on the other side. So I'm not going there. But that second explosion, the really big one, occurred right about here where I'm standing, right in this general area. So here, here, and on the other side of this wall. This is what the area looks like today. I'm gonna go all the way to the end here and look back the other way. So this is it. This is the spot where that massive explosion occurred. Like I said, on this side and a lot of it on the other side of this wall here. Wall's about 10 feet high, about three meters. I will put a link in the description for the video of the explosion. As a result of the two giant explosions, two people were killed. Ray Westfield, Pepcon's controller, who stayed behind to call 911. He was handicapped with polio and was unable to make the call and escape in time. The other person was plant manager Bruce Helker, who is said to have also been handicapped. There was also an underground gas line controlled by Southwest Gas Company. It was ruptured, which added fuel to the fire, making things worse for a little while. However, it was quickly shut off. It was said... The explosion cracked glass and shattered windows up to 10 miles away, 7 miles away, over here. At this airport, in Las Vegas, at the McCarran International Airport, windows were cracked and doors were pushed open. The shockwave also buffeted a Boeing 737 that was on final approach. At the time of the explosion,
Henderson was mostly unpopulated open desert. Since then, it has become a subdivision of Las Vegas with over 300,000 residents and over 140,000 homes. The explosion on the video was filmed from approximately right up in here, in this location here. From here, you can see where the explosion was. Explosions were right here. So here I am on the hill from where it was filmed from. And if you look from here, you can see the location of the explosions were right there. And uh, I couldn't get to the actual spot because if you look over here, there's a pretty serious gate up that says no trespassing. So they're serious about letting people know they cannot go beyond this point. What I was hoping to do was to get up into this area because that's where I'm pretty sure that's where it was filmed from, but I don't want to I don't want to get myself in trouble or upset anybody. So this is as close as I can get to where it was filmed from back in on May 4th, 1988. And the location of the explosion was basically right behind the right behind the telephone pole and just off to the left. So behind it to the left, the two big explosions came from right in there. This is what it looks like today from up here. I remember when he filmed the video or when the video was filmed, this was pretty much open desert through this whole area. Now it's a subdivision of the metropolis called Las Vegas. Of course, the location has since been cleaned up and repopulated with various industrial structures and businesses. And if the location's history was not researched and known, one would never know what occurred on this property on May 4th, 1988. So there you have it, the Henderson, Nevada Pepcon explosion that occurred May 4th, 1988 in Henderson, Nevada, right here on the Forrest Haggerty Channel.